testing, new camera, check, one, two, one, two, Doobs is in the room, check, check, bars for days, check, check. Yes, we are back guys, my name is Doobs, this is your home for all things FIFA, we upload every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, at a minimum, if you've been enjoying the content, hit the like, drop a comment, hit the subscribe, hit the bell notification so you never miss another video, you wouldn't want to be robbing yourself of prime quality content such as this, we're looking good, we're looking spicy, new camera, new lighting, got it all going on, what better way to celebrate than an episode of the Road to Glory, let's get into this one. Yes, boys. So you join us back on the Road to Glory account. And today we have the Foot Champs Weekend Rewards. We finished gold three once again. One finish shy. Two weeks in a row of getting gold two. 30k, two mega packs, 50k pack, two player picks and re or re-qualification again. Can't argue with that. Player picks, let's go. <laughs> Boys, Valverde, he walks straight in the team. Boom, second one. Oh, I thought if we'd done it quick, we'd get two big ones back to back. Um, I don't know. We'll talk. We'll talk about Ver Ver Valverde in a minute. Um, it's all happened very quick. Uh, I don't know who to take out a dear four star, four star. Oh, it's gonna have to be Jail Pedro for this one. Valverde, he walks straight in the team. Look at that. What a card that Valverde card is. How much does he go for? He goes for 260k. That is a win. That is a win. And that is going to be massive to the team we make going into this foot chance. I can't wait to show you guys. Cannot wait to show you guys the team that we've got lined up now with pulled that Red Valverde. That is a win. Let's go. We move. Two mega packs, first of all. Let's see if we can make some coins. It'll be a massive help towards building our new team. No walkout, no board. Oh, that's rough. Candreva. Dead. Second mega pack. Can we get something out of this one? Please, Lord have mercy upon the soul. Let's go. Nothing. Blue. Brazil. Goalkeeper, Neto, oh, that hurts, boys, that hurts. Well, okay, let me know in the comments, boys, let me know how you got on this weekend, let me know if you found it easier or harder compared to the first weekend. Um, like I say, I got one... One win under goal two again, so I'll finish on 16, which is a shame. Two weekends back to back now in a row, 16 wins. Um, what can you do apart from learn the game, get better? But I hope our team this week carries us to get that one extra win. We can only but hope. Right, 50k pack, please pay out for us. Please. Come on, I'd love for this to pay out. Walk out, let's go. Blue, oh, it might not be one. No. Ah, yay, yay, yay. Every time, that's twice on the Road to Glory account. Twice we've got Bernardo Silva fooled us thinking it's Ronaldo. Twice. Both times been UCL as well. Oh, that's too good to be true. We should know better. Anything else in the pack? Ah, it's a dead 50k pack to be fair. We move. Right, now it is time. The foot chance rewards are out of the way, they're gone. We've had them. It's now time for Division Rival rewards. We missed out on Division 1 by 90 points. Thanks to this new system that EA put in, we missed out on Rank 1 by 90 points. I was tempted to take the coins, but I'm going to take the tradable packs. Just because I know I've got enough coins to build a team now. So we'll take the tradable packs, we'll try our luck, you never know, it could be in. And you can see the coin balance top left hand corner is looking a lot smaller than it was at the beginning of this episode and I can't wait to show you guys what we've gone and built. So let's go into the store quickly first of all. Jumbo gold pack, whip that open, not expecting nothing great out of this one but you never ever know. Nope. 
not looking great. Monreal, dead, 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 dead. We'll get rid of all them things and we'll move on to the next one. Now, rare electron players pack and then a 50k pack. Can we get anything? I'll be happy with a board at this rate. It's, it is a board. Is that a team of the week? No, it's not team of the week, is it? It's Matip. Joel Matip. In that pack. Yeah, dead pack. Now, that leaves us with the 50k pack left out of this week's rewards. Can it be nice? Walk out. Can we get one? Please. No walk out. Purple. Purple. Ah, oh, is it that hero card? Troyore. Okay. Does he have any value just because he's like the only hero card in the game? I can't imagine it. Card looks awful. But, um, I mean... We take what we're given, I guess. There you have it, guys. They were the reward packs for the week. Nothing too special in terms of the normal packs. We got Bernardo Silva, which is nice, you know, get some of the coins back in as we spent a lot. And, of course, the red player picks couldn't have been much better, to be honest. The top three that I wanted was Valverde, Kimmich, or Joe Gomez, and we hit one of them. So over the moon of that, just for getting 14 wins as well, so you can't argue. But now, this is what I'm excited for. This is what I've been wanting to show you guys. The team, we've gone out, we've been big spenders. We're here to enjoy the game. I'm not hoarding the coins anymore. I've gone out, I've spent the coins. And this also means that the grind on this road to glory starts again. So for those of you that are watching with a small coin balance still, it's gonna be relatable more towards you guys once again, because we're starting off with a small coin balance again now we've spent our money and we're going to try and build it up again because the player that we've gone out and bought is probably not going to leave the club for a while um, if at all really depending on what cards and what special things come out um, I could eat these words and go back on it I might not who knows but for now the journey of grinding has started again and the next milestone I want to hit 300k to get a Varane in the team but speaking of the team as for the team here it is boom Look at what we have created on this road to glory within a month. This is amazing to me. So our in net, Courtois, 30k. The best keeper that I've used on the game. And amazingly, he doesn't have save with feet trait. But I'm telling you now, he saves with his feet 100%. Solid keeper, almost played 100 games for us now in the club. Phenomenal, can't argue with it. Nice and tall, athletic, big, strong keeper. Gets me out of a lot of trouble. Right back, Nelson Semedo, he featured in our team last weekend and he's going to feature in our team this weekend. The high defensive work rates and his pace is just phenomenal. 20k we picked him up for this time and we this time we are running a backbone on him which I might change to a shadow should I feel the need to. Next, Edo Militao, our untradeable guy, the most capped player in our team. 240 games played, only the five goals scored, 12 guards, never got a red card. High defensive work rate, six foot one, amazing player. Nacho Fernandez, he gets the call back up. He's played 165 games for us now, first owner. Also does the job, can't complain, but he is the next upgrade. He'll be getting swapped out for a Rafael Varane when we can afford him or when the time is right. Left back, Alexandro, not the best. He does get caught out a lot. The high attack and work ranks really upset me a little bit in this team. He is the one weak link, I would say. But he's got to be in because he gives the link to the big man that we've gone and spent all of our money on, which we'll get to in a minute. Adam Adama Traore, back in the team, 7.5k. Got a dead eye um, on him to help him with his finishing. High work rates. Got no end product, but that's not what we're using for. We get the ball out to him Why we run down to the byline, look for the options in and around the box, and he does that job really well. Now, of course, the big red player pick for us, Valverde, walks into the team. High, high work rates. He gets about six foot, nice and tall. Look at his card. Look at his card. If we go over to his stats with the... um, With 
the chemistry style, sorry, that we put on him, and Maestro, he's almost over 80 on every single stat. We play him in behind the big man, so he's a CAM for us, so he just he just plays off the passes willy-nilly, really. The only downside to him, of course, is his three-star, three-star, but we get around that because he just, we just get, we've got him there to look for the runners and pass off the ball. And with his vision and his long and his short passing, he is a phenomenal player. We've played 20 games with him in the warm-up for foot chance, and he's been outrageous. He doesn't get that many goals, but his assists in itself, look, he just holds up the ball, waits for the players, distributes it, boom, bash, bosh, goals. Goals, my friend. And here he is. Zoo! CR7, the 5 star skill moves, the 4 star weak foot, the 6 foot 2 height, the high low work rates, the stuff of dreams. 1.25 million we've paid for him. A million and a quarter. 125, oh, 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 oh. So many zeros, so much money, worth every single penny. You see him in our warm up games, 20 games, 32 goals, and the three assists is what he's repaid for us so far. This guy scores some outrageous chances, and I'm hoping he is the key to getting me the extra win that I need this weekend. And put it this way in our warm up games, there's some games that I'd won, which I would never have won without this man being in the front line. We've got a hunter on him and just look at the stats. It's just an outrageous, outrageous player. Even from corners, he was getting corner goals. So we've got him on the left with seven chem. He's not got a problem. All the traits you could dream of. Does what he says on the tin, boys. For me, unbelievable player this year and we are blessed enough to have him. And then we've got this triangle up top of the old faithful Goretzka and Kimmich, both with a shadow on. 22k there for him, 32k there for Kimmich. These two boys just hold it down in my team for so long now. We've sold them, we've bought them back so many times. They're just the staples in my team. They just work for me. You, sometimes you've got to find the players that work for you and stick to them. Ignore the meta. If they work for you, they work for you. These two players are them two players. And then we've got Sane up front. We could have gone with Royce to get the full chem on him, but I don't think he's fast enough because I do play this as my lamb player. So once again, we get the ball to Sane. We use him to run down a wing, basically. Do a couple of skill moves here and there. Look for the options in and around the box. Once again, same as Adama Traore. Even with his seven chem, look at them stats. Beast, beastly stats. Cup, couple of traits on him. Jobs are good in. And of course, they see how we've worked the team here for the chem reasons and Ronaldo on seven chem doesn't make no difference at all really and we've got Jurgen Klopp Serie A to get their managers the bench that we're rolling with the only players that I'm using is the rat Dan James up top to get some late goals if we are behind Promes if I need the extra five star skiller on the team Delaney if I want to see out the game they're going to be the main three players that I go to and that guys is the foot champs team let me know in the comment section below what you think of this team what you expect me to get from foot champs this weekend with this team let me know what team you're going with this weekend have you kept the same team as last week have you switched it up like I have let me know get chatting in the comments below I'd love to hear from you but now we have got the foot champs roundup from last weekend. I've kept the stat sheet, guys, and I'm going to pop it up somewhere on the screen now. And you can see the stat sheets of the players and the results which we have done. So you can see last weekend, our star man was Usman Dembele, 33 goals, 10 assists. Outrageous he was. Rodrigo was outrageous. We can see why he's a cheap beast. 18 goals, 13 assists. De Jong with loads of assists from the CDM role in our team last week. And then nothing else. Dan James, eight goals, four assists off the bench in almost every scenario. And Troy Ore doing a little bit of work with five goals, six assists as well. Other than that, not too much to highlight or speak of. Promes doing well off the bench. And Goretzka getting seven assists from the CDM role. Um, let me know if you like the stats, guys. I'm, I'm liking keeping track of how I'm doing on the weekends league. So you can see day one up here, I won seven, lost five. Day two, I won two, lost four, left it at that. And then the last day, and then on the last day, won seven, lost five, exactly the same as our first day. So once again, that got us to 16 wins, one shy of goal two, which is our next milestone, which I'm hoping to get very soon. But yeah, they're the stats from last weekend. I'm going to keep another stat sheet from this weekend with this team that you see here. But guys, if you've been enjoying the series, that's the episode done for the Road to Glory today. If you missed the last episode, the link will be in the top corner. Let me know how you're getting on. I'd love to hear from you. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notification, drop a comment in the section below. That's all there is to say now, guys. But until next episode, I'll catch you then.